Hi, today we are going to discuss an important topic which is called checksum. So in today's world, uh, security and data integrity right, are the most important, often considered as requirement 0, requirement 1 of a system design. right? And checksum, as we are going to see, is one of the most important topics whenever you are designing any kind of system design or uh, interview questions or anything uh, which requires data integrity. So uh, let's look at what the problem is. So we have a service. This is a basic three-tier service where a user is calling the load balancer, load balancer is calling the service, and the service is uh, getting and writing data to the database. Right? When there is a request that comes from the user, right, and the user writes the data to the database, at this point of time, say if there is any kind of a fault or any kind of a jitter in the either in the database or in the network or in the service layer it can basically result in the data being corrupted right it is possible now if the data is corrupted at that point of time if the user is wanting to read the data it basically gets an error in data right but it is getting the data but it is getting a wrong data because the data got corrupted right so what happened we lost data integrity right what the data was written was not the same as the data that the user got back right because of the jitter because of the fault that happened uh, either in the database or in the network or in the service somewhere how to solve this problem the solution is checksum let's take a look at the same uh, situation using where we can calculate checksum and see if we can maintain data integrity right so we have our service and the user is requesting uh, the service to write some data to the database to the service but at this point of time the service calculates a checksum of the data right it calculates some checksum some value of the data and writes that data along with the checksum in the database right so it stores the checksum along with the data now when if there is say there is another fault in the database or in the network or in the service the data gets corrupted right it's the same situation that happened last time and which basically means that the checksum also got uh, changed than what was written. Now, when the user tries to read the data and the service is reading the data from the database, at this point of time, the checksum that is there on the data is not something that is what was calculated when the data was written, right? So there is a mismatch. At this point of time, since the data got corrupted, the service can determine and decide to fault or fail the request, right? Instead of instead of basically giving a wrong data right so but here what we have ensured that we have maintained data integrity right so that is what checksum is checksum is very important for data integrity maintenance and depending on how the service is working you store the checksum with the data in the database so that if the data gets corrupted the service should be able to at runtime be able to differentiate whether the data got corrupted and or not and then based on that it can take the decision for itself whether to give to, whether to be more available and give the wrong data or to protect data integrity in 99.99% of the cases you are going to obviously go towards the latter which is you always want to have the data integrity right because what was written if you are providing back uh, a wrong data then that is wrong that is obviously incorrect and specifically these are very important in transactional systems financial systems right where you cannot have wrong data where there are order values and all those kind of systems you cannot have uh, any wrong data that is provided to the user back now how does the checksum is calculated basically we use several cryptographic hash functions right uh, and there are multiple md5 sha1 sha256 sha512 which are basically uh, like ma md5 is like message digest and uh, uh, SHA-1, SHA-256 are, are different types of uh, hash algorithms where they, they depend on the type of output bit size, type of security layer like for example MD5 was, was uh, invented in 1992 which was one of the earliest uh, times and that is why it is less secure than SHA-1, right? SHA-256 is even more, sec uh, more secure, SHA-512 is even more secure, right? Uh, so it's that so depending on how your system if you are playing with customer sensitive data if you're playing with critical data or mission critical data then you want to have more secure algorithms defining the hash functions so basically how does the service operate 
when the data comes the service basically has the data and it also applies the cryptographic hash function to build the checksum right and then the service writes to the database both the data and the checksum right so that is how uh, your systems are going to work so it is in that path where the service is writing to the database it calculates the checksum on the fly writes the data and maintains the checksum and if there is a read it obviously recalculates the checksum and checks whether it is same that what was written in the database if there is a difference it basically means that there is a problem or the data got corrupted right and that is where you can decide to maintain data integrity so this is one of the very important topics hopefully this was useful